Um, I just want to talk a little bit about social media and viral marketing. Uh, does anybody know what viral marketing is? It's, you know, it's pretty much when you kind of start a campaign, you have a spark, an idea, some creative thing, and it just catches on like wildfire more than you could ever possibly imagine that you could afford. Uh, it just kind of takes on a life of its own. And so some social media is like that. Some is more managed and, 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 and doesn't catch fire like that. But uh, there are kind of two new ways, two new things in our toolbox as, as business people to build our companies and communicate uh, our stuff to the world out there in a very cool and neat way. So when I started with Ag First uh, about six years ago, like Thomas said, it's, uh, it's a very conservative company. You know, it's it's uh, going on 100 years old, and it's uh, you know, it's just it's 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 rural. It's very agricultural, very conservative. And so I come in with that with this idea. Hey, let's do a social media viral marketing campaign. And they're like, What in the world are you talking about? <laughs> And then I started talking about how cheap it was, and they said, oh yeah, that's cool, go do it. <laughs> so, you know, I started doing some research about some campaigns, some case studies, some things that some companies had done, and, and, and the uh, social media, and, and at that time, was, was a new social media world. And I came across this campaign called Will It Blend. And Will It Blend was a, uh, it's a campaign that was started by a company called Blendtec in Orem, Utah. And they brought in a new marketing director and they gave him a $50 marketing budget and they said, okay, go do something. So he came across his CEO one day, which is this guy up here, I think Tom Dixon is his name. And he liked, he was kind of, he's kind of a quirky CEO and he liked to use his blenders and see what kind of stuff he could mash up in his head in their test kitchen. So he came across these, the, the new marketing guy, George Wright, came across these. Um, wood chips in the kitchen break area one day. He's like, what in the world is this about? And they said, yeah, it's just Tom. He was trying to break up some two-by-fours with his blender. And that kind of sparked an idea. He's like, hmm. And so he spent his 50 bucks and went and bought a lab coat and uh, some stuff to squash up. And, you know, he got a video camera out and started, uh, uh, you know, recording his CEO just crushing lots of stuff. And their salespeople were able to use these videos as uh, demonstration tools when they would go out to their potential customers and show them how powerful the blenders were. So let me just show you one of these videos. Will it blend? That is the question. This is, this is a more recent video. They weren't so sophisticated when they started, but when they first started, uh, they put up a few videos of, of this the CEO guy just crushing some stuff in his blender. Well, within five days, they had six million views on their YouTube channel. Totally weren't expecting that. It was just, it was just, hey, let's do something fun. Let's show how powerful our blender is, and they put it up there. As of now, this started in about 2004. As of now, they've had 188 million views of their videos, of their video series on YouTube. Their sales for this particular blender have increased 1,000%. This is like a three, four hundred dollar industrial blender now that teenagers will go to Costco and see this blender and, put and say, Mom, we gotta get this blender. I saw it on YouTube, it's so cool. And so mom will buy this four hundred dollar blender that they don't need. Just kind of a, a remarkable story where starting with just a little bit of imagination and some creativity, what uh, and that, this is kind of one of the best case studies I can think of as far as um, viral marketing. The part at the bottom is kind of my, my point with this, is blenders aren't cool, but blending crazy stuff is. And so that's what I think is successful about social media and what can become viral media is, in, and it can happen with just about any company. You know, um, I work in, uh, Ag First is a financial services company uh, who made loans to farmers and rural homeowners. You know, not the funnest stuff in the world. So uh, I had to use a little bit of creativity to come up with, okay, how can we do this, this viral marketing with, with boring old loans, right? So I figured, you know, loans aren't cool, but rural life is. But because we didn't have a lot of budget for this, 
we didn't have a lot of content to put on the website. We needed some content. We needed some stuff that was fun. You know, I, I, we didn't have the budget to go out and produce all kinds of cool videos. So we decided to have a video contest. And we asked people to show us, you know, how do you keep it rural? And so we got in, you know, 50, 60, 70, I can't remember how many it was, videos of people showing us how they kept it rural. When they went to the website and they filled out the form and submitted the video, they, they signed ownership of that video over to us and we could do with it whatever we wanted to. And this allowed us to now have some ammunition that we, you know, was very cheap. We just had to give out some prizes and have the administration of the contest. But uh, for a relatively small amount of money, have all this fun, interesting stuff to then go put on the web, brand it, keeping it rural, and, you know, kind of build a community around keeping it rural because that was our niche.